On Oahu, the city and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers have released a draft plan to decrease the risk of flooding at the Alawai Canal in Waikiki. The plan's been in the works really for years. KITV4's Ariel Argel has more. City officials and the U.S. Army Corps of Engineers are releasing their new draft of their flood mitigation plans and an environmental impact statement for public review. Previous versions of the plans have been met with some opposition. This time around, city officials are adding a step to the planning process. The major, I feel like, difference that uh, the city kind of decided on was um, the significant, I guess, um, improvement of uh, public outreach um, and having the city involved. Starting today, a 45-day public comment period begins. You'll be able to provide feedback on the flood mitigation plan until January 8th of next year. That plan consists of flood walls strategically located um, along the Manoa Stream uh, at the Woodlawn Bridge, as well as the confluence of the Manoa Palolo Canal, flood walls along the Manoa Palolo Canal itself, um, and then all the way around the Alawai Canal the plan also incorporates a detention basin at the Alawai Golf Course. If this plan does go through, one of the main differences you'll see here at the Alawai Canal is there will be higher walls right here along the edge. As you can see right now, there currently isn't anything stopping the water from coming out if a major flood were to happen. So if a flood does happen and these walls are built, it'll help protect some of these residential and commercial buildings you see right here. Without protection, not only will surrounding buildings be impacted, but flooding can also disrupt transportation and critical infrastructure. Flooding would cause widespread displacement and loss of income for businesses and residents. City officials say they will listen to community feedback and review the plan at the next public meeting scheduled for December 12th and 13. Go to KITV.com for the link to make a public comment. Ariel Argel, Island News.